Saying goodbye is never easy, especially when you part ways with a slap across the face. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 worst series finales. For this list, we're taking a look at popular TV shows that failed to stick the landing with their final episode, leaving audiences on the lowest note possible. We would say spoiler alert, but maybe knowing about these lackluster endings going in will soften the blow. Number 10. The Finale, Seinfeld in theory, bringing back everybody Jerry, George, Elaine, and Kramer wronged over the years sounded like a fun way to cap off the series. Yeah, very bad. Very, very, very bad. Instead of cleverly integrating these characters into a fitting farewell, though, the Seinfeld finale plays out like a glorified clip show. The big trial culminates with our four main characters sentenced to a year in prison for their petty, selfish behavior. You had to hop. You had to hop on the plane! When you really think about it, however, almost every character in the history of the show was deeply flawed. So, the fate of our protagonists just seems cruel and unearned. Honestly, we would have had more respect for the finale if nothing significant happened to Jerry and the gang. Haven't we had this conversation before? You think? That was basically the entire idea behind the series, after all. Number 9. Daybreak – Battlestar Galactica it appeared that Galactica's search for a new home had been in vain when they discovered that the fabled 13th colony, Earth, had been nuked. In the series finale, though, Starbuck inputs mysterious coordinates that transport our heroes to a planet that will one day prosper into the Earth we know. We'll admit that this is kind of a clever twist, but its execution feels like a cheap deus ex machina. Commercialism, decadence, technology run amok. Remind you of anything? What's more, the series leaves us with several questions the writers don't even try to resolve. Namely, what the frack was Starbucks supposed to be? One of the finale's most high-profile critics was author George R. R. Martin, who felt the show copped out by simply saying, God did it. Number 8. Mirror Image – Quantum Leap What makes the Quantum Leap ending so frustrating is that all the pieces were in place for a satisfying conclusion. In Mirror Image, Sam discovers that he has the power to finally make the leap home. God bless Sam. When he wrote the episode, though, creator Donald P. Belisario wasn't sure if the show would be renewed for another season, so he left the finale ambiguous. Instead of seeing Scott Bakula travel back to his own time period, the audience is left with a tacked-on title card saying that he just kept hopping through space-time. For years, there's been talk of a potential Quantum Leap continuation. Until then, the words Dr. Sam Beckett never returned home will remain a bitter blemish on this show's otherwise enjoyable track record. I know you're out there somewhere, Sam. Number 7. Of Course He's Dead – Two and a Half Men This sitcom officially jumped the shark after Charlie Sheen left, and had been running on fumes by the time its final season was farted out. As one last middle finger to those who stuck with the series for 12 seasons, the finale continually teased the return of Uncle Charlie. All that buildup led to the ultimate anti-climax, in which an obvious Charlie Sheen body double was crushed by a grand piano. <laughs> then, in an even more curious move, co-creator Chuck Lorre was hit with another piano after spouting Sheen's infamous catchphrase. Winning. We think this is supposed to be meta humor, but we have no clue what the showrunners were trying to say here. All we know is this finale is anything but a winner. Uh, you're not the only one to point out the illogic. <laughs> Number 6. Thank you, True Blood The last couple seasons of True Blood were rough, but we stuck with the sexy vampire drama to see who ended up with who. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your vampire bride. The final episode features a wedding between Jessica and Hoyt, who were never exactly anyone's favorite couple. The womanizing Jason sporadically settles down with Hoyt's ex-girlfriend, who had like five lines. What about Sookie and Bill? Did they get a happily ever after? He sure now. Nah. Bill, for some reason, decides that he's ready to pass on to the next life, and asks Sookie to stake him. Does that mean Sookie hooks up with Eric instead? Nope. Well, then who does she end up with? Some random guy we never see or learn anything about. Oh, you are dead to us, True Blood. Number 5. The Last One, Saint Elsewhere Although it was far from television's first medical drama, 
St. Elsewhere stood out as one of the few to have a refreshing sense of humor. The final episode is a straight-up joke, however. Turns out the storylines that have been unfolding and the characters we've grown to love over the past six seasons weren't even real. He sits there all day long in his own world, staring at that toy. They were all figments of an autistic child's imagination and exist within the confines of a snow globe. We're not kidding, that's seriously how it ends. This revelation is only made more confusing when you consider that St. Elsewhere had crossovers with shows like Cheers and Homicide Life on the Street, the latter of which crossed over with several other shows. Is NBC's entire library just in Tommy Westfall's head? Number 4. The End – Lost this groundbreaking drama created an overarching mystery so complex that not even the writers could solve it. That being said, the finale of Lost was bound to leave us with several unanswered questions. What was the deal with Walt's special abilities? Where did Kristen Shepard's body end up? Who was Mother? The finale provides no insight into any of that, but the Flash Sideways timeline is given an explanation. We've been waiting for you. <laughs> Turns out the Flash Sideways world is, wait for it, limbo. Wow, who saw that one coming? It's not like people have been predicting since season one that Purgatory would play a role. While we'd be lying if we said the finale wasn't without its bittersweet moments, some of these creative choices remain mystifying. Number 3. Remember the Monsters? Dexter After eight seasons of concealing his dark passenger, imagine how fascinating it would have been if mild-mannered Dexter Morgan was publicly outed as a serial killer. Everyone at Miami Metro would have to come to grips with the fact that a stone-cold murderer was right under their noses this whole time. Dexter, meanwhile, would be forced to confront his greatest fear as the monster within was exposed to the world. Well, rather than taking that route, somebody at Showtime apparently said, let's make Dexter a lumberjack. This ending had no build-up and offers no payoff. We don't even get an inner monologue from Dexter. The final shot is just him blankly staring off into space, which is a fitting metaphor for how empty-headed this ending was. Number 2. Last Forever – How I Met Your Mother we waited several years for this sitcom to introduce the titular mother, but she almost immediately won viewers over, and sparks flew when she met Ted in the finale. You're Cindy's ex-roommate, right? Yeah, and you are the professor. If the series ended there, this finale probably could have avoided a spot on this list. Alas, it's revealed that the story Ted's been telling his children was never about how he met their mother, who's been dead for years, but about how he still had feelings for Robin, despite their toxic past. Mom's been gone for six years now. It's time. What, I just, just call her up on the phone and ask her out on a date? Considering that the last season revolved around Barney and Robin's wedding weekend, and the show is literally called How I Met Your Mother, the audience felt like the rug had been pulled out from under them, and not in a good way. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. We've already prepared the mission specs, low risk insertion, simple alias. Who knows? Could be fun. That's what you say every time you show up on my doorstep. And the next thing you know, I'm jumping over canals in three-inch heels while napalm explodes around me. Dinosaurs have been on this earth for 150 million years. And it's not like we're going to just disappear. it's time for me to start figuring out what's next. Any ideas? A piece of me has always wanted to go to law school. Ugh, so boring. Was that really the right thing to do? Everybody did what they did I destroyed own. a legacy you spent a lifetime I forging. I did that, not you. I did that willingly. You didn't have a choice. I went over that cliff with you. And you made a mistake. How can you say because that? Because I was the problem! Not quite at the end yet. Almost there, though. Just be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. All right, back to business. Number 1. The Iron Throne – Game of Thrones Since the previous episode ended with Daenerys becoming the Mad Queen and burning King's Landing, Game of Thrones needed more than 80 minutes to deal with the ramifications. Rather than giving this epic story the room it needed to breathe, though, the finale shoehorns in a season's worth of plot points. You are my queen. No. And always. Danny is killed by the man she loves, Bran is randomly selected as the new king, and Jon Snow's entire character arc is thrown out the window. 
Everything wrong with this massive letdown of a finale can be summed up in a water bottle the crew accidentally left in a shot. It's so rushed that apparently no one had time to think, hey, maybe we should do another take or an entire rewrite. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.